you know what? A lot of players, especially in melee, like amateur melee, we see a lot of tech practice, a lot of a lot of repetition at home, and then the inability to perform during tournament. Yeah. And uh, Albert's the example of someone who can do that and uh, convert that into solid tournament play. Uh, it's really, really impressive. Yeah. Uh, I like what he can do with the game. And it kind of just shows you that you want it, you can get it. Oh, for sure. And I mean, it's it's definitely like being able to play with other people is so important because otherwise you just don't get the habits of the game. Yep. Uh, Fundamentals is a very long and... Uh, it's an arduous road. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking arduous. That was, that was the word on the, the tip of my tongue. I was like, uh, uh, uh. Thank you. All right, so I think, are we doing hand warmers here? We're we jumping right in. It looks like we've actually jumped right in and we've missed the first stock of the match, but we do have a, uh, oh, okay. This is hand warmers? Okay. I love these tags. They're All right. pretty hilarious. I don't, <laughs> I wobble and I don't. And we so we have, uh, we have SWG, uh, is it Banana Man? Uh, I think it's just bananas. It's just bananas? Yeah. I think they just call him Banana Man here and there. Oh, okay, okay. But we have him and Clouded. Yep, Clouded. Uh, AWOL Clouded. And it looks like we'll be jumping in shortly. What is AWOL? I, I don't know. I think it, it might just be... Uh, he does crew. have a symbol for it. So I think it's either his crew or it's um, it's something. But they're going to Battlefield and we'll be right into it. So what do you think about this matchup? I mean, really it's just... Can the Ices get something going out of the side of the Falco lasers? So, the actually Falco lasers are like kind of notorious, like more of a trap than anything. You wouldn't think. Uh, so when oh Ooh. that would have been nice if you laser one of them. The other one keeps going forward. Mm -hmm. uh, so a lot of the times, like if like an ice climber like waves and da like wave dashes and then like down smashes, you stop one and then get obliterated by the uh. other one. So it's really, really hard to use lasers in this matchup. I'm not saying that they can't be extremely effective. Yeah, free Sopo, it can be rough then. Yeah, exactly. As soon as, as, soon as it's only solo uh, Ice Climber Sopo, then uh, lasers become infinitely more useful. Uh, you can't quite do the same thing. Shine off the top, good stuff there. We're seeing that good stuff out of Clouded where he's managing the Nana right after Popo has died because some people have been cheesed out of matches by Nana. Yeah, that happens a lot. Uh, see, there we go. He's uh, desyncing de the ice climbers, making lasers kind of hard to use. And lasers is a free desync for ice climbers if they want to look at it in a really positive light. Yeah, clouded looking for these West Ball setups, but not really finding them. Yeah, you know, West Balls, uh, and especially Axe, is really good at doing this. Axe has a lot of ice climbers players. Are, Ooh, good uh, coverage there by the hands. Yeah, a lot of ice climbers experience. Mm -hmm. I mean, you think that Wobbles was an AZ for a while, so it'd be understandable that Axe is a bit more time with him. Oh, oh that is a God. beautiful combo. That was so good. Yeah, That's he's good. like, all right, you read that jump hard. <laughs> Up, tilt to back Everybody. there. Another hard Super part about this matchup for Falco is uh, when he does like a down air or any aerial on the Ice Climber shield, uh, since there's two of them, the shield stun and the hit stun are not quite the same. Like the timing to like L cancel yeah. isn't what it normally is. So he makes it more difficult to L cancel. And honestly, I can imagine there's been lots and lots of different oh, grabs. Are we here? Oh, we're in it, boys. We're in the wobble. And that's going to be game one. Yep. And He's Cloud is just Cloud is just pointing and laughing. Oh, and he lets go. But you know, uh, the end result is yeah. The that same. does not matter. He's like, okay, I'm out. And now I'm out of the screen. Yeah, and it's like it doesn't it doesn't really matter at that percent. You know, you two stocks up his ices. Oh, all right. So he's not going to be able to take him to Yoshi's to be able to shine him off the top. Or are we taking it back? But I even though I have talked about like how how hard or the hard things about Falco, Falco actually has some really great tools for the matchup too. Like. Uh, Jumping on top of someone and just shining and then wave landing to a platform is generally really safe. Oh, yeah. Because, uh, I mean, if you just shine on someone and then just jump out of it, and if you scoop up one of them, like, you can just, like, kill Nana off the top, especially on stages, like, uh, tri-platform stages. Yeah, this for stage, a Battlefield or Yoshi's or something like that. Yeah, not Dreamland. <laughs> for but, certain. Uh, for certain. <laughs> but a stage like this, this is an interesting counter pick. Uh, I know when the stage transforms, it might disrupt the Ice Climber chain grab. That's been, that was a tactic in this game. It's a tactic in Brawl as well. Really good. Strange patience there out of uh, Bananas. I don't know why he just didn't roll back from behind. 
See, he had the space. Nice recovery. Can he get to the ground now? Oh, Ooh. good back air. Back air is a giant move that does it's, a ton of It's enormous. It's got great hit. Ooh, fancy. Right. <laughs> no mid shorten. No. That's actually, I think the mid one's the roughest one to get. Are we, nope. There we go. Transformation really coming into play there. All right, uh, he's able to get Sopo on his own. So. See, I think that, uh, I think that the ice climbers could just DI just hard left or hard right and able to get out of any setup like that. So it's really if they don't DI. Well, yeah, it's easy for Popo to get out of that. Now, if he had caught uh, Nana out of position right there, Nana will not have, like DI those. Yeah, she I mean, will just go, she'll just get obliterated in a bit by it. I, I would say Nana's the equivalent of a seven year old, but there's some seven year olds now that are probably very good at this game. <laughs> From my understanding, uh, Nana's CPU increases with damage. That's true. Yeah, like, I think, like, under a certain amount of percent, maybe like a low percent, don't quote me, I think it's around 30, though, she just will not. Uh, double jump. Yeah, she's or, functionally or not. Or she won't very use smash useful. attacks. Or there's some stipulation. Mm. I know that Fly Amanita had found ways to actually increase the AI uh, before the match. I think that's a rumor. Really? Yeah. I remember I'm seeing sure that's it on like Smash a, Boards. Like a famous wife tale of melee. Oh man. Um, but it is funny to watch the ice climbers like set the CPU to nine and then mm -hmm. and then change it to a human. I don't know. There's but something I'm, about it. Ooh. See, he got stuck in shine there because, like, the timing is just so much more different. Yeah, oh, it, it, I like it's that. like when people change from light shield to hard shield. Uh, I remember seeing, I think it was True do that against the Falco. And it just he made it so that he would mess up the L cancel and was able to get something off of it. But we are seeing a very good performance here out of Clouded. It's really shaping up from last game. Ooh, that down air is not going to be safe on shield. He's going for a jab reset. That would have been a really nice. I wasn't expecting a back throw. Uh, clouded teching though, smartly. Mm. I don't know if he teched that. Ice climbers also have a really fat back here. Yeah. Pre pretty stellar. <laughs> I like the way you describe that. But back is fat, it's humongous. It's like fat with like pH and maybe like three T's. <laughs> okay, that kind of fat, big fat band. You know. All right. See now, I really. Like, I really kind of want to push for no transformations Pokemon just because more often than not you'll end up watching people just wait it out on one side or the other. Because we both know that that tree, that tree is a dangerous place to be. That tree is, you know, the alley that you never want to go to in your town because someone's going to get messed up in there. Yeah, I'm going to be real. Melee has the worst competitive stages besides 64, obviously. There we go. That was that the jab is, reset. Here we That's going to be a stock. Oh, my goodness. And just like this, this game is even. Cloud is just kind of looking around. He's like, hi, how's everyone doing? He's just chilling around, just waiting. All right, that's going to even it up, and we're going to see a last stock situation here. All right, we'll see if Cloud makes the same mistakes from last game or if he's going to be able to make it make it happen. Ooh, oh, I like these forward throws. This is good. All right, he's got Nana on her lonesome. Oh, no. Okay, there we go. No. Nope. Down. There you go. Kill there Nana. There you go. She uh, would have been dead if you grabbed the ledge. That's the thing. Nana does not up B. Nope. And if you hit her away and she can't make it back with just her double jump, that is it. Really risky stuff here. But, you know, as but. defending Clouded, it's really hard to just, like, forget Ooh, about one. calling out the double jump and being able to clean it out. All right, so we're going to go 1-1 one, one here. Oh, and he's taking him to FOD. Now, this is going to give uh, Ice Climbers a lot of utility. They're going to be able to go a lot lower for recoveries. And, ooh. Oh, no. That, that's the second time that's happened. He's gone after Nana, and uh, Bananas has just been able to focus Sopo on him. Throw him out there with a fair. I like that decision going after Nana there. He didn't capitalize as hard as he could have, but I, th I like the, his mentality there. Oh, ooh, covering the roll we in. Rolled. We're not dead. And now we're dead. <laughs> that's a wobble. This is super clean stuff out of Bananas. He's got the rhythm yeah. down. I wonder, you know, I think, do you think that Ice Climbers play with that beat, you know, in their earphones half the time? Like, just a song with that beat? I have definitely heard about uh, Ice Climber players that play with metronome, a metronome. I can see it. It'd be smart. I mean, it's... I mean, it is particular. Yeah, it's not It's not against the rules, and that's the thing. Uh, the really good Ice Climbers, they've got it. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, uh, Diz Kid. Diz Kid's a musician. I mean, he, he's got it. Diz Kid, Boogie. I mean... Yeah. Um... In fact, I I don't can't say I've seen like any of the top top ice climbers. Yeah, they're not headphones guys. Drop really. the wobble, which I'm surprised they're not 
headphones guys like the crowd. Yeah. I could imagine the crowd being just super harsh. Wow, calling Ooh. out that downward, going to the ledge, down smash, really nice. Just slightly covering the Falco up it, uh, up B. Oh man. Nice ledge cancel. Nice suit. We're seeing good stuff out of both these players. It, and he's gonna Nana. focus out Nana. And he's gonna make it back too. That's what's important. All right. Now, one of my favorite, ooh. Oh. oh, disgusting. One of my favorite things that I've ever heard Wobble say is that uh, if you don't, you know, if, if, you're, if you're good with Nana, but you're not good with Sopo, you're not a good Ice Climbers player. Because if you can't roll it alone, you're never going to make it with somebody else because your Nana's just going to leave you again. <laughs> it was really good relationship advice, too. Oh, yeah, the, I remember the relationship advice. I was like, that is peculiarly good. And relevant Wobbles, to Smash. Wobbles is a dude, wise he, man. He seems like a really cool dude. I mean, I'm excited to be able to like talk and meet with him more. I think uh, I think a lot of it is Wobbles like he's experienced a lot. Oh he's yeah. He's gone through a lot, so he's oh. grown a lot as a player. It's fine. Bananas doesn't even care. He's got two stocks. Oh no. Bananas uh, posing for the screen. That's gonna be it. Super good stuff. But <laughs> bananas just cleaning out with double back air. That's going to be it. Uh, bananas moving through the bracket. Clouded going to losers. It was a good game. Went to mm -hmm. th game three. Yeah. Um, Impressive stuff out of both players, really. Yeah, definitely. I really liked how smart uh, Clouded was when pressuring a shield. He, I don't know. I'd probably get grabbed <laughs> trying to do something like that. Yeah. It's, it's a dangerous game playing around on shield pressure unless you're frame perfect. But uh, that's the thing. Falco is good enough to do that if mm -hmm. you put the time into it. And that's why Falco's busted. Dude, Falco, like, I remember, I think it was, you know, it was like late 2015, M2K said that Falco might actually be the best character in the okay, game. Okay, Mewtwo King has. Yeah, Mewtwo King's got some weird really, opinions. Really, really, like, uh, what's the